In the last two videos, we talked about polyrhythms and polymeters inside of the Bitwig grid. And today we want to talk about this in the context of the Ranger window and also the clip launcher and maybe a small tip at the end, how you can combine multiple instrument tracks for one synthesizer. So here we start by creating just one instrument track and we want to create one note clip here. It's exactly one bar long, that's important. Inside we create one note here on D sharp and we want to take this note and we want to subdivide this note into three equally sized parts. So we have one note here, here's one note, here's one note. So we have one bar subdivided into three equally sized notes, right? We can also um, select this here, right click and say slice at repeats, right? So we have now three individual notes. Uh, that's important. Then we create a second instrument track here, another note clip. It's the same length, but in here we want to create another note and this note is subdivided into, let's say, five equally sized notes. Not three, this time it's five. So right click maybe, slice it, slice it repeats. You don't need to slice it here, but I want to show you that it's possible. So here we have now three equally sized notes and in here we have five equally sized notes. And if you loop this here, you can see um, that this is now a polyrhythm. A polyrhythm is basically when you have the same clip size, but within these clips, you have different subdivisions. Here it's five and here it's three. Um, and we can now play this on a synthesizer. And normally you just put here a synth on each of these instrument tracks, but inside of Bitwig Studio, you just can select here these two uh, channels and use Control and G and group this together here. And maybe call this Poly uh, Rhythm. And on this group track, you can insert the synthesizer. Uh, polymer. And I think this is only possible inside of Bitwig that you actually can use a bus or a group track and use it as an instrument track, but it's possible inside of Bitwig Studio. And then we go to these channels here and say output notes to tracks, right? And then we send it here to the uh, polyryth polyrhythm master channel, right? So it's important here, it's the output. And instead of using here audio outputs, or note outputs or audio to tracks, we can use here down here notes to tracks. So we can send out the MIDI data or the note data to another track. And we want to send it here to the uh, group track, which is called Polyrhythm. And then we just send it here to a Polyrhythm Master, right? So now this one is a pure MIDI channel or yeah, it's not an instrument track anymore. It's more like a note channel or something like this. And we do the same here for the instrument channel one. We say tracks, polyrhythm, polyrhythm master. And now we send both of these notes here from these clips to this group track, to this synthesizer. And I again, just hit play here. And this is basically your polyrhythm. So again, polyrhythm is basically the same clip size, uh, but the subdivisions are different. Here it's three, here it's five, and you create basically different rhythms and just loop them together with the same um, clip size. So this, this is the polyrhythm for you. Um, with the, oh, let's act, actually add here an instrument track. Uh, with polymeters, it's, similar but here the clip size is different so let's say we have here this instrument track and we create here um, a melody on that and this melody has um, eight notes let's go downwards here and it's not really important that you have the same subdivisions here you can also use um, poly rhythms in here if you want to but i stick here with the same subdivision um, Let's go down here actually on the scale, 
right? So we have here eight nodes, I think. I think so. This is here, um, this clip length. Then we duplicate this here, and say this is the same thing, but here we go to different nodes. Maybe let's go up or let's go down here. And just delete these two and then we use a different size for this uh, clip right so this would be now here a polymeter you can see when we loop this here we actually never have the same nodes um stacking up on top of on top of each other right so we have here the beginning so here we uh, stack up with this node from this clip and here we stack up with this node from this clip so we have some different overlappings. We have the same subdivisions. It's all eight nodes, but the um, clip length is different. So we get interesting patterns over time. So let's combine this here into polymeter um, group and then use a polymer here on this one. Um, solo this and then send this out here to tracks. Uh, polymeter, polymeter master, tracks, polymeter, polymeter master. So this sounds like this. So it's basically the same rhythm it, everything lines up right every note hits on the same grid uh, spacing or on the same beat um, but the notes or the pitches are different and because the clip length is different we loop at different points in time and you can use basically two small clips right you can see this one here has this size and this one is this size but they never really line up. So you actually get a much, much longer time here like this until it repeats and you have the same sequence. So you can create basically with small, two small or three small uh, sized clips, you can create a much, much longer um, pattern or global pattern or some pattern or however I want to call it. Um, so the sum of all of that is basically bigger than the, the smallest parts or something like that. Okay, so this is basically polymeter uh, where we have the same subdivisions, but the clip length is different and the polyrhythm is basically we have the same size of the clips, but the subdivisions are different. And of course you can combine these two, right? So you can use different subdivisions in here and then use different clip sizes. And then you have the best of both worlds, maybe. So um, polymeters is actually what I do most of the time when I use uh, the clip launcher, because in here it doesn't really matter. So you can drag this in here and drag this in here and just delete this. And you can see here the clips look like they are the same size because it's just a um, equally sized grid in the, in the clip launcher here, but you can define here on the on the left side in the inspector the length of the clip, right? You can see here this is one bar, this is only um, a 0 0.3 bars long, and then you can just hit play here on this one, and you can see with the playhead in here they loop at different points. And when I do ambient, I do this all the time in the clip launcher. This is actually the benefit of the clip launcher because you can just go in here and say, oh, I want to have a different clip length. That's what I usually use here the length for. Um, or maybe go to this one, right? And then play a different melody in here. Maybe go down here and then combine it with a different clip subdivision. Just playing here the notes of the scale, right? Something like this. And then you just And with this kind of trick, you can also create chord progressions, of course. So you stick maybe to a certain range of notes in each of these clips. 
and then you use a different clip length and then you use polymeters basically to loop them at different points in time and you have like some kind of chord progression that um changes over time in a, in a certain way right so you can say here in this clip we maybe um stick to this note here and then we go down to the fifth maybe here something like this and then we bring this down and here we go here and here and then we do this a bit longer let's say here something like this duplicate this here and we do maybe something like this here then let's go down here or maybe there and with this trick you basically stack up different notes uh, each time you loop, uh, you loop at different points. Uh, at a certain point, they repeat, and you can see this here if you uh, put this on the arranger and then uh, drag this out. You can see here uh, we never loop at the same position. Here we loop basically this. Here, here we repeat at the same position. Uh, but you get a lot of uh, different patterns out of this over time because you have these different clip length. So this is basically the benefit of the clip launcher, in my opinion, that you can um, select here these clips and then use different clip length and then play in here different notes in certain ranges and then you combine these with these polymeters. And I do this with ambient all the time because it gives you so much um, more interesting patterns over time than just having the same clip length with the same content looping at the same position or the same yeah same position in time all the time um so this is much more interesting uh and if you combine this then with the uh, polyrhythms here it gets even more interesting right so this is how it looks like inside of the arranger window and the clip launcher and also your maybe maybe if you didn't know this um how you can combine your multiple instrument tracks um inside of a group for just one synthesizer. I think it's also great here uh, for polymeters and polyrhythms where you can stack up basically multiple clips and make one pattern out of it and then send it into a group. And on this group, there's just one synth playing all these clips at the same time. It's very nice. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you have some questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.